Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I want to share with you my brand new collection from Textures, it's Vintage Christmas. Now it may seem crazy that we're talking about Christmas while we are still in one of the hottest months of the year, certainly here in the UK, but it's just around the corner and this is the perfect time to buy your Christmas items so that you've got quite a few months to get crafting with them so that you're prepared and don't get caught out at the end of the year. So Vintage Christmas is all about, exactly as it says, vintage themed. So I've got these lovely older festive images that I've bought into a collection of stamps, dies, 3D embossing folders and layering stencils plus some mixed media papers too. I'm going to show you in this video through the entire collection and share with you lots of cards that I've been making with it all. So let's start with going through the products. Probably my favourite of all of the items, I, I, I am torn but I think it's got to be the layering stencil. So the layering stencil is four layers. This is a large A5 stencil set and each one is another layer to create yourself holly and berries background. It's really, really pretty, but it doesn't have to be just festive either. So I've got a couple of examples of how I've used this to create my own backing papers. As you can see here, I've done it on white. I've also done it with a black colored background as well, a dark colored background. There will be tutorials coming up on my channel very soon where I show you all of the different techniques that I've used to create some of these cards. So make sure you are subscribed to that. But that's just two of the ways you can use it. You can also use it not with the traditional reds and greens, so blues and I've got some frosted whites there for the berries, just a little bit different. But also I've used it there without the berries to create an autumnal or sort of like a fall or harvest festival style card there. Perfect for things like Thanksgiving just by switching up the colours. And I think certainly you could use this with greens as well and then some pinks instead of the reds. And instead of having the berries, you could have florals in their place and um, yeah, create yourself a spring or a summer card too. So that is the layering stencil set. We've also got here a stamp set. So this is two stamps. They are, well, that one's a background stamp, which is this one. Um, I really love this because there's so many little elements there that you could stamp and then snip out as well. And then we've got this silhouette, which is really a focal point too. So you've got music paper in the background too there. So here's a couple of cards. Now these are really super quick to do because the stamp is the main focus. So there you can see that street lamp with the music paper behind. All I've done here is simply ink blended first, stamped in black, simply just nothing else, just plain black ink and then splattered a little bit of white paint over the top and down the bottom here you can see some of those sentiments that I've actually cut away from the uh, postcard there. So I've used the sentiment happy holidays and snipped some of the other bits too. I've matted the happy holidays onto black cardstock to really make it pop. Then we've got a kind of chalkboard effect with this post postmark stamp or postcard stamp there and I've just stamped that onto black added a little bit of white ink to make it look chalky, a wooden frame and yeah a really again a really really quick and easy stamp. I've actually got a um, short video coming up soon um, showing you how I've made this, so like a time lapse video. And then again that same stamp just with a nice inked background, picking out the colours of the ink to matte around the edge. I have used black embossing powder so that's glossy and really stands out there. And again I've used the Happy Holidays from this part of the stamp. So there's a couple of other ways to use that one. Then I've got the Lantern, now this one is a firm favourite too. There's so much you can do with it. It's a good size lantern. It's around about 10 centimetres. I've actually done two light up cards. So this one lights up. If I just turn my lights down ever so slightly, so you can see there how that lights up. And I've matted that in the background here. I've actually got the postmark um, and the music paper from this part of the stamp. So I just did a bit of stamping and I didn't ink the street lamp there put that in the background and I've got all of this gorgeous foliage and berries that comes in with the die set. So let's just pop this back on and take a look at what you're actually getting in here. So you've got the lantern, you've also got the outline of the lantern, the candle, you've got the base and the lid and again I will have tutorials coming up soon showing you how to construct this. There's lots of different ways you can pick and choose which elements you leave out and which ones you include because for example the drop shadow you don't have to have that, you don't have to have the lid and base, you can have it as purely like a wire frame lantern if you want to. 
the choice is yours so there's lots of versatility with this and then as I say you've got all of that foliage as well there's a couple of extra bits of foliage here that you won't get because I've got two sets so I've added some of the smaller foliage onto this magnetic sheet just to save me time when I'm crafting so you get two holly leaves and you get one of the uh, pine firs there you do get this big cluster and you get three berries but I've lost one <laughs> I don't know where it is it will turn up it will be on the back of a packet or something a couple more cards using this lantern this one again let's turn the light down because this is a light up one again so you can hopefully see that glow when I turn it on and off it's so pretty no need for a sentiment on this when you've got something beautiful I don't tend to put a sentiment on the top because I just think it says enough and then I put a sentiment in the middle instead so lovely kind of hand delivery cards those ones because they're quite chunky because of the led lights in them and then this is very different this is not christmas at all so let's pop that light back on uh very uh, sort of wedding celebratory very floral very delicate pastels and just to show how you can use that lantern in a totally different way then as well in the die sets we have two sentiments these are traditional christmas sentiments i wanted to include these because i'm always hunting around for the perfect christmas sentiment and i just think these are classic they all come out in one piece and then you have the outline so there's four dies in total look at the size of them they're going to fill your card as you can see i have used the merry christmas in this one that i showed you a little bit earlier and again with the season's greetings you can really see the size of them like i say a focal point all on their own simply maybe use the layering stencil to create a background put one of these on top maybe use one of the 3d embossing folders which we'll come to in a moment and you have got super quick cards and again whether or not you use the drop shadow is entirely up to you and what i love about those i'm going to skip to this card here is you can snip into them as well so you've obviously got the word merry the word christmas the word seasons the word greetings i've snipped away everything and just left the word greetings there and you can do the same with the other die too but go into that card in a moment because we also have two 3d embossing folders now uh, we haven't had many 3d embossing folders in the textures range yet only a few um, but these are absolutely stunning they are so so beautiful we've got the knitted pattern which is going to also be perfect for fall if you want to do this from a cream color cardstock or an ivory cardstock make it nice and warm and cozy if you want to use this for a new baby maybe in a pastel pink or a pastel blue or whatever color you want for your project again absolutely perfect for so many different themes but of course it does fit perfectly with the vintage Christmas feel I just imagine those knitted scarves that we see a lot around Christmas time and the emboss is absolutely beautiful I'll show you a couple of examples in a moment and we've also got the plaid I don't need to explain that traditional Christmas plaid absolutely stunning again a 3d folder so let's just look at how they come out so we've got here the stenciling but I have also I need to turn that so you get the shadow on there can you see that texture in the background we've got that embossed with the knitted pattern after it's been stenciled to really give it lots of texture I could just sort of stroke that lot because it feels beautiful and soft then we've got the plaid now this plaid has been cut into or rather I've done one um, in on this green cardstock I've then used my brayer with some embossing ink, put red over the raised areas, red embossing powder over the raised areas. Then I cut some squares to fill in sort of the blank areas here, just to give it a bit of difference. So it's just a bit of fun. And this is a card that is not um, part of the collection, except for the fact I did use the um, knitted pattern in the background and you can really see it on there. So I just thought I'd bring this in anyway. This is a Creative Craft Products die set the wreath and the holly jolly on there but I have used that gorgeous knitted pattern on this teal cardstock in the background so you can really see it there it's beautiful and one last item which is with my vintage Christmas range but this is going to suit so many different occasions and it's the mixed media sheets these are four by six you've got eight sheets in total and these are like thin mixed media paper thin rice paper so no problem with adhering them because they are not translucent enough to have to worry about what you're adhering them with. But this is going more on the music theme. Originally, I wanted some music paper in to create uh, like a Christmas 
sort of background, a vintage Christmas music sheet background. But I thought, well, actually, let's just do a whole pack of music themed mixed media papers. And these can be used for your journaling and they can be used for your scrapbooking, obviously your cards as well, because they're thin. They can be embossed, they can be die cut, they can be inked. And you've also got all of this die cut ephemera. So you've got all the music um, ephemera here and it all will pop out. So it's all die cut, just held on with little tabs. So as I say, with this, yes, for Christmas theme, absolutely perfect, especially around the lantern, around the street lamp, perfect. But you can also then use this completely away from Christmas if you want to. And if you want to go down the music route for somebody's birthday, maybe, or a wedding or whatever it may be, you can do that too. So they are also included in the collection. Now, at the moment, I can't believe the prices of these. The entire collection or everything I've just shown you here is only £49.99. That's £49.99. pence. Um, on the UK site at Craft Stash. If you are a Craft Stash VIP member, then you're going to save your 10% and get it for around about £45. That's for everything. The prices are absolutely phenomenal. I believe the die sets each are £12.99. Everything else is like about between 5 and 7 99 It's crazy, crazy prices. The lowest price collection I've ever done at Craft Stash. Now everything that I've shown you today, I hope you love as much as I do and you're going to find it all linked in the description below. But as I record this, already a quarter of the stock has gone. I like, don't like to do a hard sell at all. I like to let the products talk to you and if you love it, by all means go and browse and purchase. But I think this one is definitely going to be one of those ones that sells out quickly. Thank you for joining me everybody. Please do share your Christmas makes with me once you receive the collection. Take care and have a lovely day.